Shalom family. Just wanted to do a quick garden update. Have my, my young men over there working. Older brother teaching little brothers how to do some things. He's getting dirt from our compost bin that has been mixed with all types of organic material and we add some lime to the soil as well and some droppings from the chicken coop and in the duck area as well so after all that has been tilled together he's spreading it around in various areas or various beds that we're going to be planting in as you see a lot of things are starting to come up very nicely too, too much to even really name but uh, some of the things in the greenhouse are going to be transplanted into these bins that um, don't have anything in them as of yet. Now I wanted to briefly talk about this bin we have here. One day my one of my uh, younger sons he said mommy whenever you say things um, daddy always builds it <laughs> and uh, what it is is we have um, for some reason um, certain bugs like to get on our collard greens and so I said this year I'm not going out like that this year we're going to protect our greens and so I said I wish I had something that we can screen the greens in you know because they need full sun so my husband came up with this neat idea here this is um, a box. He made it out of um, split two by fours. Okay, I'm not going to push it all the way back. Let me just put the little thing here. But uh, he just thought up this design here. Okay, that's something to hold it up. But um, all it is is split two by fours, plastic on the sides, and screen material on the top, as you see here. And then down inside of there, these are. A lot of our collard greens not all of them but as many as we can fit in here until we build another one and it literally took him only a couple of hours to build this and again it's just split two by fours with uh, plastic along the sides and screen material at the top so that um, rain could still go through and water the greens now another Another uh, particular plant that the bugs seem to be fond of is our cabbage. So we'll probably do something similar. Don't know why it is, but certain greens, uh, like the lettuces, they never bother those. They never bother those. As always, um, the collard greens and sometimes the mustards and things of that nature, they don't bother the green beans. Don't bother the cucumbers, nothing like that. But here's an, a nice big garden greenhouse box that my husband built. And um, also, we're starting to fill these new bins that um, my husband built yesterday. We're starting to fill it with this, this nice soil here that um, my son mixed up in the compost area. We have, like I said, um, chicken droppings, duck and goose droppings, lime, and other organic material from around the yard. Things from the kitchen like eggshells. All of that is mixed up in this. And he, he turns it and he mixes it again with the tiller. Then he turns it and mixes it. We try to do that as often as we can until we have soil that we can fill our beds with. Um, <clears throat> All of the leaves that drop throughout the fall season, all of that's collected and put into our compost area. But again, uh, these are two of the new bins that we just put together that we're going to be filling up with the compost uh, that we have been working on for quite some time now. Uh, we try to keep that compost area pretty full. We still have more things to build with these fence slats. These things are very versatile able to do so many things with them okay um, even little other pots we have in the yard we're trying to use every bit of space we can those are cabbages that are coming in those um, these are cabbages as well 
And so we have a lot going on back here. We've planted corn in several areas, several areas. And so those are starting to come in in this area while other areas are very young and haven't broke ground yet. Um, I think we have corn in one, two, three, four, five, six, six areas and we have one more area that we're going to put some corn in. But yes, this is just a quick garden update and I have my, our sons out here working hard. We all see how important it is that we do this. So with that, I'm going to close out the video. I just like to keep these videos going for encouragement for ourselves as well so that we can see that hard work always pays off and the reward is nice healthy food. Hi little Gracie. <laughs> okay, Shalom family.